Kitten Internet, and welcome back to Let's Play Vandal Hearts. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to start this right. Choo-choo! We're going on a train today! Okay. Um, but we do actually have a couple of things that we need to do before heading over to the railway station, because yet again, yet another thing listed there. <coughs> mm. Throat's not happy with me. Um... I've had a bit of a busy day. I have actually had three job interviews today, only one of which was actually scheduled. Yep, it's been one of those days. But we need to go to the dojo. Because we have people to promote. And yes, that means we get the funny music again. Advance. For Elanai is no longer a sorcerer. She is an enchanter. By the power of the gods of light and darkness, grant the soul new wisdom and powers in the service of mankind. And now she's an enchanter. A much more classy version of the same outfit. I really like the enchanter outfit on Neil and I personally. I, just look at it. Looks cool. But not really much happens for the promotion beyond appearance, but you do get new spells. We'll get to that shortly. But we need to promote a couple more people. And I'm going to fast forward. Yep, Huxley gets a new hat and starts smiling in his standard avatar form. Oh, Sarah's actually level 20. Sweet, I like Ninja Sarah. All right. There we go, because Ninja Sarah has size, even though her equipment is still claws. But, you know, it looks like size and that looks cooler. I just like it better. Nothing wrong with that. Also, Ninja. Zohar is now an enchanter who looks basically the same, if I remember correctly. He leans back slightly. He has better posture, and that's about it. And the golden, whatever you would call that part of his cowl. I think that's everybody for 20. Yep, that's everybody for 20. So now let's see if there's any changes. Um, I meant to do a before and after with stats, but I didn't. But I'm pretty sure everybody's stats actually remain the same. Elanai does not have any new magic. Huxley does have a new spell, though. Magic Charge. Sarah doesn't have any new spells. And Zohar doesn't have any new spells. But, so, fun fact. Um, if you don't promote, you don't gain any new spells. So, like, for instance, poor Elanai... I had one game where she didn't promote, or no, sorry, it wasn't Eli, it was Huxley, or Zohar, I meant. I had one game where I accidentally never promoted him, and then when he reached level 20, I promoted him to Sorcerer rather than Enchanter. So he left off at Roman Fire and never gained any more spells, and I was very confused as to what happened. Yeah, it was because I didn't promote him a second time. I realized it at the final battle. Good job, me. So, let's go to the train station. Absolutely nothing bad can happen in train stations, right? Choo! Uh oh. That's a lot of Crimson Guard. Why are we at the back of the train, anyway? No idea. Looks like we all made it onto the train in time, but where's the royal ring? I feel its power coming from the front car. You rebel scum! Oh, wait, oh, sorry. You rebel scum! Oops. Ah, damn it. 
You rebel scum, you are ring, don't you? Release the back cars before they can reach you. But, sir, we don't have the time. Then you better shut up and get started now. Shut up. How many different accents did I go through in that? They released the cars. We're lost. Everyone, rush to the front car. So this is a battle that's very similar to the bridge battle in that we had things being cut off from the back every round. Um, This isn't every round. We don't need to advance an entire car every round because otherwise Dolan would be dead. We are going to be going at the speed of Dolan, no matter what we do. Um, it's a certain number of turns for each, and that's the reason why. I don't know, uh, that's the reason why we have time. So, like the first car, I think might be after turn two or something like that. But again, long battlefield. Ah, neat. Parallax effect works. I just really like this particular battle, and I was afraid that this would slow down greatly on the Sega Saturn, since cell animations are incredibly slow, but it looks like it's fine. Other than a really low poly count for the Crimson Archers back here. Sorry, Crimson Shooter? Because they shoot. So, something to note. This grate here, we need to search. This is required. Yep. This is going to suck. That's the only object, and uh, it's the only item in the battle. So, this would have been great if Diego was my second um, archer, or not archer, um, second hawk, because then Diego and Eamon could actually just take these two out immediately, and that would be great. But instead, we will have to do this the old fashioned way. And by the old fashioned way, I actually don't really want to waste magic, although I have a lot. You notice that he has 19 MP now? That's the same amount Sarah had at his level. Although rolling fire uses 8 MP of it, which kind of sucks. I kind of like to soften up the swordsman, so I'm going to. Down. Also, it's really hot in here for some reason. I don't know why. Thermostat says it's 23 and a half, so that's what... 75? Fahrenheit? Okay, they got knocked down by about 50. I wasn't paying attention. You're dead. You're now level 20, I believe. Because I think Eamon was 19 before this. Yep! Yay. We're actually gaining XP. That's nice. Why did Zohar and Clint have the same range? Oh, it's because they're promoted. They actually have more movement range now, which is nice. Unfortunately, Dolan is not promoted. Damn it, Dolan. I'm going to make sure Dolan tries to move up as far as he can every turn, because otherwise this is going to be impossible. Do a kneecap, please. I know that they didn't kill him, but you still gained 20 XP and leveled up, and I believe that takes him to level 20. Or is he level 19? Level 20 Bowman. Sweet. More promotions. And Sarah, look at her movement range. It is glorious. All hail the ninja. Hail. Hail. I'm actually going to have her toward the back, though. The reason being is that, one, she can easily catch up, and two, I want Elanai and Zohar closer. Oh, that's right. Something I wanted to check. So they both have 114 hit points. 40 MP, 57, 67, 87. Their, wep uh, their attack won't be the same because they have different weapons. I think they actually have the same stats. But I'm actually going to be trying to spellbind. Just makes things easier. If it works. If not, not a 
big loss. Eh, worked. Sweet. See, it's not actually possible to clear out this car this turn. Sure, Eel and I. It's not gonna matter. Very strong flow for So how goes it for you? Oh, this is the first chance I've had to breathe today, and it's already nearly 17, so that's fun. The archers are the problem. Or, sorry, shooters. Because they can actually reach my hawk. Let's see how much damage it does. I knew he'd survive two hits, but it's kind of annoying. Oh, they can only hit him once. Clint's the other four sap. That's fine. Clint can take the hit much more easily. And I'm probably going to have Clint take out the... Paralyzed one. I really like how they did this battle, by the way. I mean, yeah, I know that the view distance is terrible because this is a PS1 game in 3D, but it's still the fact of they did something like this on a strategy RPG. That's actually really cool in my mind. Okay. Ash, you're going to go over here. Actually, wait. Before we do anything, Hail and I. Ooh. Not the greatest, but I'm going to have phase shift going on. Crap. Okay, I can still make this work. I'm going to have Zohar do it. Phase shift? Phase shift. Look how small the area of effect is on this particular phase shift. I'm still hitting plenty of targets. Actually, wait. Are you going to die? Yeah, you're going to die from the phase shift. I'm going to have Clint go first. He needed the XP really badly. So now he's at 19, so our lowest is 19. This is fine. Now we can have Zohar go up to here... And phase shift. Yep, that hits all of uh, hits the archers as well. Phase shift. And this one's particularly trippy because the tracks are still moving. I mean, I'm sure the tracks are just like an animated GIF equivalent, but it's still cool to me. Dang it. And Zohar reached 21. Keep my mages end up a higher level than normal. And that's fine, because now Eli and I is going to do the exact same action. Phase shift. Nine and forty-four. All right, so those should all be in one-shot range now. Eli and I is also level twenty-one because why not? You cannot reach them. That sucks. Clint cannot reach either. Or Dolan cannot reach either. Can Grog reach anybody? No. Looks like Ash is probably going to be the one to kill. Eamon's going to end up getting healed, but I think I'm going to have Hawks be the one to heal Eamon. Actually, we're going to do an Ultra Healing so we heal everybody. I am fast forwarding for reference. Unfortunately, since it's a spell effect, it's going at real time. I only need to heal like two people out of this group. It's kind of annoying.
18 XP. New attack. It just looks so much cooler than the stupid claws of jing 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 jing. No. So, I can actually kill one of the two shooters. That's probably going to be the best move for me to do. You're dead. Ash is the only one left that can move, so I'm just going to move him up. All right, and we're completely off of the caboose. I just realized I didn't save, but that's fine. Ready to release troop guard number one, sir! Uh, good, do it! Drink. And separated. You will notice that the two last tiles are still present. That may become important. Yep, we're gonna get height. This is gonna hurt. Ow! Don't make noise. Why do you make noise? Oh, just email. Ah, okay. So, this is going to be a problem. I don't think it's worth perfect guarding. I'm just giving them bait, basically. Oh, let's make sure that Dolan can move as far as he can. Okay, that's going to take up Eamon's spot. Alright, where can you actually move to? You can move over to that side. And that side. Okay, so it doesn't matter on that train car. But I could just move Dolan back to here and he'd be safe. Again, we are moving at speed of Dolan. And I just said move Dolan back. Move Eamon back. We are still moving at speed of Dolan, though. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. And this car is going to be the car I'm going to let people catch up on. Heal plus. Uh, Eamon's the only one even hurt, so... Let's speed up the spell effect a little. There we go. Close enough. Okay. The two of them as far as I can. be off of this car probably next turn. Nope, you are going there. Problem is now Clint's at the back and I did not want him back here. He's level 19 and I want everybody to be level 20 at the end of this battle if possible. Just realized they didn't save again. I will save at the start of this next turn. Shooter's going after Hux, okay. Oh, he's probably turned around, that's why. Yeah, that's fine. Hux can take hits at this point. Yeah, you'll notice that none of the other ones are moving yet, so this is a good time to regroup. So as a kid, I always thought that the train car thing was a false sense of in urgency where they would only peel you off after you've moved off turns out the answer is no to that by the way in case you were wondering ash is 19 thus can kill all right ash is now 20 good We're going to have these two move off to the side. 
Yes, they could go faster if they went up, but I'm not trying to go faster. I'm trying to rearrange people a bit. Making sure that the slow ones, a la Diego and Dolan, don't get left behind. And then making sure that we have decent movement for those that are still 19. Actually, you can go up above. Frog, uh, I probably should have put you up above instead. You're going to go on this side. Pux, you're going to move over to here and heal yourself. Actually, no, wait. Eamon first. Eamon's going here. Pux will be here. And heal himself, because why not? And I know Sarah hasn't moved yet. And I forgot to make the save. No, I did make the save. I remember. Ah. Okay, I am off of that train car. They're not moving yet. Okay. You know what? I've never seen what happens if we're standing on the train car, so I want to. I saved. It's fine. Release turn number two! Release it, you fool! Again, I'm going to intentionally do this, so... Actually, hold on a moment. I will pause so you don't have to watch all of this. All right. This is the car number three. All right. And everybody's on car number three, so we all lose. What? I can't hear you. Yeah, what's going on? Never seen these lines. I guess we blew it. Whoa, can't be. Boy, do I feel stupid. Um, we were too slow. Hell, they're smarter than they look. We've come so far. It's no use. One. No way. Rats, they've gotten away. I like that. I've never seen this. And everybody's gone. You lose. Hmm, neat. I didn't realize they had lines. Anyway, let's go back to the actual battle, shall we? Okay. You can move up to where Sarah's at. So Sarah's gonna move up one square. Ash is going to move up one square, maybe? Yeah, Diego's going to stay up there. Yeah, uh, there's a very good chance Dolan's going to remain level 19 in this battle, but I'm going to do my darndest to make him 20. Actually, gonna have him hang back very slightly. So, for reference, it was three full actions after releasing that previous drain car. So, we have tons of time. I'm actually gonna move Eamon over here. 
Well, I could have moved him up now that I think about it. What am I going to do with Hawks? Hawks, heal yourself again. Ten! So, yep, yeah, this is releasing car two. Releasing you, fool! Yeah. Ah, now they're moving up. You fool. Yeah, she hurts. 87 crack back. How much is Ash gonna crack back for? Seventy-five. So yeah, uh, Sarah does more damage than Ash right now, which was definitely not the case prior to promotion, and they're the same level too. Okay. Out of curiosity, eighty-three attack, eighty-two attack. Just slight differences. That's all it takes. See, the problem, you fools, is that you let me stab you in the back. You fools. Trying to figure out positioning. I think I'm gonna put the mages there. Actually, no, we'll have the mages. No, they're the highest level. I want them back a little further. Like that. Plus means better. Always keep people healed. Although thinking about it, Sarah could have just used her magic to heal. That probably would have been a better bet. I don't want to lose height. I want him up further. Uh, Amen. Amen, you're going to go there. Now these two. And then Ash. You're going here, I guess. And that's everybody. Next turn, we invade the next car. I wanted them to... Oh, crap. They're going to move up to there. Mm, ah, it should be fine. Darius can run around to the back to smite. Um, it's not that big of a deal if Eel and I and... Ooh, I have Spread Force now. So, for reference, Spread Force is that area... It's around self, and it does a lot of damage, if I remember correctly, but its area of effect makes it kind of hard to use. Planning on just Roman firing, but maybe I should actually go with Piercing Ray. So I can hit both with a Piercing Ray. Save on magic. Well, speaking of saving, let's do that first. Yes, I remembered this time. Mm. Neil and I, hold back a bit. Slunk. Slunk. Zohar, can you mirror her for a moment? 
Oh, both of them have spread force, actually. Neat. I wasn't sure if that was a spell that would be one versus the other. And they'll be down to ten each. Yep. Easy fodder for whomever I want to kill them. Which in this case is going to be Darius. How far can you go? You can go to there. You absolutely can get hit. That's gonna suck. I'm gonna do it anyway. Darius needs the XP. And Golan. I made a perfect guarding Darius now that I think about it. That would actually make a lot of sense. Although, no, back's turned. I'm still going to get hit no matter what I do. Um. Okay. Clint, you are going to move here because you're still 19. Grog is still 19, so Grog is going to move here. All the rest of you are 20 or above, right? Yep, okay. So at that point, I'm going to have Pux move here. And Mystic Shield Darius, because he's going to need the defense. This is going to suck. At least there's no height advantage. In fact, there might actually be a height disadvantage, depending on where they position themselves. But it's not great. Honestly, I'm going to move her all the way up so she can deal with the interloper. Interlopers! Oh, sorry, the flashback. <coughs> All right, that's everybody. Darius is the only one I'm concerned about right now. Going after Sarah. Okay. Didn't expect that. And you're going after Dolan. Good job, AI. You guys are idiots. And nobody else is moving. Okay, that worked. Wasn't expecting it to be that easy, but okay. How far can you guys move up? Okay, you can move up all the way to here. Good to know. So I want to be off of that train this turn. Dolan can move up to Smash. Which you probably want him to do, actually. Lint cannot. Okay. We're moving Grog up as far as we can because Grog is one of my priorities. Dolan's another priority. But Dolan got hit. Eh. Dolan's fine. I don't think he can one-shot him, though. Yep. How close is Dolan? Oh, that's right. Dolan actually is level 20. Or got. Darius is 19, but that is going to be a death trap. Probably, no, I couldn't have put Dolan anywhere else. just get people up. That'll dictate what else I do on my turn. Oh dude, that spell is useful the entire game. Right. Fox. Oh, 
kind of want Hux to be the target, actually. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to move him in here so I can heal him the rest of the way. Yeah, this makes sense. Healing circle. I mean, there was an argument for perfect guarding Clint. Mm, I don't know if... Actually, thinking about it, perfect guarding Clint probably was a better option. But I do top off everybody else's hit points. Only 20 XP, though. Eh. Oh well. I don't know if this is a safe spot or not. We'll find out. There's only one archer left, so I'm not as concerned. Ah, one tile off. I would have stepped here instead. I could have done it. Yep, that healing action was a bad idea. Oh well. Releasing guard number three, sir! Hurry! I'm going after Clint? Yeah. I assumed. Oof. Stupid height. And then you're attacking Clint. Clint gets stabs in. And do I level? No, that's right. I just leveled. Both hawks are nineteen. We're nineteen. Might be twenty now. Actually, uh, no, I can't quite reach. Okay. I was about to say, can Eamon actually reach the Crimson Guard? But no. And that's the best play. Oh, that's right. You were already 20. Oh, well. Grog is 19. Clint is 19. Clint needs healing pretty bad, though. Reducing spell animation time. Even though I wasted more time doing that, I just realized I didn't save. I mean, I'll be fine. At this point, the battle's a foregone conclusion. It's just... wanting to make sure I grab this. That's the only problem I have. And I think I'll be able to pull that off pretty easy. Clint can reach. Okay. Well, I should have somebody there to soften them up. Actually, Diego. Wait, no, Dolan. Dolan, that's actually a good soften. Yeah. Deal 100 damage. It's nothing. Will you level from this? 28? Yeah, you're going to level from this. Good. So Grog will be the only level 20 character. Or, only. Lower than level 20 character. Yep. Go ahead and jump up and down.
52 card pile up, unfortunately, but we have time. Actually, Diego can reach there. Can't attack, though. And... Min, Min. Please, Sarah, do you have any spells? I don't think you did. No. Hold on a moment. I've got an idea. So the examine action allows you to basically move twice so you can face the correct direction. So I can perfect guard Clint. So he's not going to be back attacked, but he will be side attacked. So I think perfect guard is worth it. Or was that just one attack? I don't remember. Well, I suppose we're going to find out. Oh, uh, no, because I'm only going to get attacked once, most likely. You're going after Dolan, anyway. Meh. Dolan can take the hit. I'm not too concerned. Yeah, those goobers just going to move up and nothing else. And we've woken up Dallas. That's going to be the problem. Okay. Heal and I... Actually, I can spread force, can't I? Can't hit Dallas with the spread force. Unless if I move here, and that seems like a bad idea. But you know what? I don't remember what spread force even looks like. So we're going to do the bad idea. Honestly, I think this is still a better plan. Spread force... Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember it now. It's Pixelated Nightmare. 150 damage. 150 damage. Yes. Thank you, my queen. Hey, Grog. How about you go kill one now? Assuming they don't block. Goodbye. Do I level from that? Yay, everybody's level 20. This was a great idea. Everybody is level 20 now, right? Or higher. 20, 20, 20, 21, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 21, 20. Yep, okay, we're good. Just gonna move you out of the way. Actually, who has better defense? Sarah or Clint? Defense is 111. Sarah, it's 89. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Silly question. Time for the pizza spinners. Because she's a Ninja Turtle, of course. Duh. Actually, the crackback's gonna suck. I'm aware. Or not. That works too. Oh, right. Perfect guard. Perfect guard gone now? Yep, it is only one attack. Good. I wasn't going crazier. Everybody will be off of that train this turn. Good. Get a little healing in because I know that Clint getting hit is going to suck. And that's who he's going to go after. And Clint is also going to take an arrow, most likely, to the knee. 
It's possible that they may go after Elanai or Zohar instead, which would be great if that's the case, because, um, yeah. Okay, I have to be concerned that I don't accidentally win. Yeah, because victory condition is defeat of Dallas, not defeat of enemies. So I need to make sure I don't kill Dallas. And that might not be easy to do. That might actually be the harder part of this. I'm taking a bit of a risk here. I'm intentionally not going to arrow Archer. Or, yeah, I'm not going to arrow Dallas this turn. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have even had point attack. Okay, you're doing dumb things. Sweet, I'm fine. And you're going back to heal. Sweet. Extra healing. The smokestack is causing... The particle effects are the problem, for reference. Okay, I can grab the item and we're good. We found heavy ramen. That's been our objective this entire game. I'm sure that you're quite aware of this. Quite aware of this. Great thong. 42. Ow. Ah. Oh. Told you, crackback's gonna hurt. Always does. Four. Song. Hundred and six. I am so glad Huck still has MP. He does still have MP, right? Seven. Uh oh. That's less than ideal. Well, I was planning on having Sarah go over to here to also join in the attack. Might not be the greatest of plans now. Okay, I still at least have enough for Ultra Healing. I'll be fine. No, actually. Flop their head off. Get some more XP. Get Sarah up to 22. She deserves Or 21. She deserves it. Because push them to shove, I can actually kill them this turn. I have three mages after all that haven't gone. So hard turn to spread force. Pixelated nightmare. Funk. Yeah, sixty-six. He's dead on my turn. Um, unfortunately, somebody who's level twenty-one is gonna have to kill him. It's gonna end up being Eli. Ultra heal. Just hit everybody up there. Oh, right. Spell animation time. Oh, well. Too late. Could let him live another turn. But the difference between level 20 and level 21 is insignificant in my mind. I don't think it's worth messing around with the XP. Let's just finish him off with a spread force. It's fun that way. I hardly ever get to use that spell, because that means you have a mage in melee combat, and that's just why are you doing that? Oh, with the Empire! Dead. Yes, he's dead dead. That's the last that we will hear of Dallas. We have killed another Crimson Guard general. And this one actually said something. And attacked back. Twice. Yeah, really, the generals don't have all that much in the way of stuff. 
any plot associated with them or anything like that. It's just kind of eh, a thing. Meanwhile. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the meanwhile. This is the royal ring. Looks just like an ordinary ring to me. Mind if I take a look, huh? What the? Ha <laughs> ha! That ring is wasted on you fools. Illusionary Zeno. Wait, it's an illusion. You can tell because it's partially translucent. He's not really here. Exactly. Let's talk terms. You give me the ring, return this friend of yours. Yup. Kira, who is currently being crucified. Not the nails through the wrist style of crucifixion, though. Just tied up. Kira! Of course, she's already betrayed you once. Uh, so maybe unfair trade. But we don't have a use for her anymore. So if you don't wish to trade, we'll be happy to execute her. If you're not at Fort Dane to make the trade by tomorrow, she will die. Remember, she got captured and hauled away by Zeno. Dirty scum. Ooh, the gritted teeth look of the 90s of every comic book. What chili do, Ash? Well, it's true that she betrayed us, but now she's just a desperate woman in need of help. We let her die. Are we really any better than Zeno? Yes. Ash, now, don't get me wrong. I understand Hero Complex. I agree with the idea of helping out somebody in need. But you're still better than Zeno. Even if you let Kira die, you are still better than Zeno. Just saying. Well, that's decided. To Fort Dane to save Kira. So that will be the next video, is going to Fort Dane to save the person who betrayed us. And also, I believe that's the last one of this chapter. So let's go ahead and save. Actually, no. Let's promote and then save. I know I my rule is usually just save immediately after, but we've done all the rest of the promotions. We might as well do the promotion for here. Let's go to the dojo. And let's do everybody else's promotion. Besides, we need our archer back, don't we? So, Ash is being promoted from champion to paragon. This is not Ash's final form, by the way. There is a hidden optional promotion past paragon. And I... Oh, also, Ash got a haircut. Um... I will not be doing that until the last possible moment in the game, because it makes the game cheese. It's ridiculously easy at that point, because Ash can just... Ash is powerful enough to solo the entire game at that point. And no, that's not an exaggeration. He is absolutely capable of killing everything. So I'm not going to be doing that immediately. Clint is going to be a duelist. Message, one moment. And you'll notice he looks quite a bit better now. In my opinion, at least. Also, he has a smile on his face, on his avatar. Alright, we get to promote Diego from Bowman to Sniper. Who looks way cooler now, if I do say so myself. Also, the bow looks way cooler. Milani's already promoted. Huxley's already promoted. Grog gets to become a duelist. Who has a way more awesome looking sword. 
And what is with that shield, I don't even know, but sure. Good job, Tower Shield. Dolan gets promoted to a Dragoon. I don't think he's going to be riding any horses, though. So I don't quite understand the Dragoon moniker. But that's apparently what a Dragoon looks like. You look like a giant suit of armor with spikes. And an even bigger axe. It's actually pretty cool looking in my mind. But the real thing is that Dolan doesn't go pure white. He still has gray hair. That's it. Eamon gets to promote to a Skylord. I just really like the names of these classes. Also, Eamon looks really cool like that. It's like he's a hockey player in the way that's designed. I know he's supposed to be flying, but still. Sarah's already promoted, Zohar's already promoted. Darius gets to promote to Skylord, who looks significantly less cool, but you know, it's still an improvement off of what he was looking like. See? He's actually wearing clothing. He's also angry now for some reason. I don't quite get it. Still, he's at least wearing clothing. We should all be thankful that Darius is wearing clothing. Anyway, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time for the conclusion of this chapter of Vandal Hearts. And yes, I did remember to back up the saves in advance. So, bye internet!